So, what's up guys, Dragon Age PD here, and welcome to the second video of this series. And before I jump into it, I tried to make this video, but <laughs> because of the mod where I can skip through this part of the story, uh, when I tried to play this part, some shit bugged out, like I couldn't use any computers in this game, so I had to, um, you know, de delete the video I made, made and make a new save to get to the part I was. So, you know, without further ado, let's do it over again. And then, let's kill some droids. Be careful. There is much energy in the room beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. Oh, that's interesting. Pray out. Can you not sense them? Reach out. Cast aside your sight. Cast aside what you see. And instead, reach out with your perceptions. Ah, you droids. can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive. But the small oscillations of energy, that you can feel, echoing outwards. Alright, the prayers help you gain the passive recognition power. When this power is triggered, you can take your game. Is there. Okay, what is happening? I feel strange, like the sedatives are wearing off. It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. That's true. It's like a sound, but... Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. Alright, mate. Gaining experience will slowly re-establish your connection to the Force. Go to the level up screen to choose your Force abilities. Alright, cool. Let me open this. Oh, nice. A stealth shield get generated. And some grenades. Alright, level up. Skills. Um, I'll do a recommended for now. And powers. Um, I'd like to have the. Where is it? The shock power. Alright, alright, interesting. Let's kill some droids. Wait, so I wanna I wanna know what's up here. Nothing special I think. Oh, docking door. Possible. Ah, I know. For when ships dock. Alright, let's throw the nade. I got a grenade. Oh, Alright, so now all the droids are killed, let's go and open the door over there, because there might be someone there, right? Or something like, close maybe, activate the switch. Alright, interesting. So let's go 
see what's inside. Ah, beyond this door, someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. Oh well. I guess I will not read his mind then. But you have nothing to fear from this one. And he might yet prove useful. That's good to know. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniform while I've been in here? Uh, you got a name or just a big mouth? Care to explain why you're locked up? Security claimed I violated some trumped up regulation or another. Take it up with them if you want. But they stopped listening to me shortly before they stopped feeding me. Now that's criminal. <laughs> Maybe I could help you if you told me who you are. Atten. Atten Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. <laughs> this facility is deserted. What happened? Before or after that Jedi showed up. Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. There's a bounty captured, captured Jedi. Why? Don't know much about it. Maybe the exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. What's the exchange? The exchange is a big crime outfit. Mostly operate out of Nar Shada. Spice running, gun trafficking, slave trading. Now I guess they're posting bounties on Jedi. The exchange is trying to kill the Jedi? Where the Jedi interfering with the exchange operations? Like I said, I don't know too much about it. Could be something personal, or just business. Either way, there aren't many Jedi left to do anything about it. Did exchange exchange wipe them all out? I doubt it. No. It was war that thinned the Jedi, not the exchange. The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows. Was it caused by the Mandalorian Wars? Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Uh, I've heard a few rumors. I've been away since the Mandalorian Wars. Just tell me what happened since. Well, I wasn't there. But like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. I was led to believe that the Revan saved the Jedi and the Republic. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan returned to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know, women. How long have you been in that cage? Revan was a man, not a woman. Everyone Maybe knows you're that. right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. I had some qu more questions for you. This discussion about Revan's pointless. Enough history, let me ask you something else. Look, no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation isn't my idea. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? You just realized? Okay. No, no, this uh, facility seems abandoned. The miners can't all be gone. But if they are, look. Hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Um. Okay, tell me your plan then, where you go and go from there. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship and then we fly out of here. I trust you, and if we work together, we will get out of this mess. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Yeet. Let's go. All right, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constant. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Thing is, 
You can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure Pazak. The console's Seems like he ours. Knows now all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! Never mind. <laughs> What's wrong? This system's been severed from the main hub after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system. It's been cut clean. Did someone do it on purpose? That's my guess. To cut off the console specifically from remote and sever the hub. It doesn't get any more deliberate than that. There must be a way to end the lockdown from here. I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. Let's see if we can try and reach someone on the comm. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Yeet. Let's go. Uh, check administration logs first. Access log 25312. Tracked at the freighter in. Was lucky it wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. Sent the survivor to medical and the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship the Harbinger suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. If so, that's gonna mean true. Hmm, interesting. Inventory the bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid's story. The T3 droid had seized up, so he left it in storage and standby mode. Don't know what code will access it. It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol <laughs> droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition sensors. Man, to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before there's a re Interesting. Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out and the miners aren't sure what to do with him. Corda's mining crew wanted us to collect the credits for the bounty the Exchange has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will... will know word from the Republic. But I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid well, behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow. Well, rip. So... Nexus comm systems. No entries. There's no response. Can you read me? Hey, it's the droid again. Be weed, be deed. Nice. I need another route of this level. We're trapped on the administration level. Can you lock the tower with this? Do we? Be weed. Is there some other way out of here besides the turbo lifts? Actually. I'd rather risk it than be trapped up here. Seems like the droid is scared. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's hope this part ain't broken like I tried in the last level. It's always handy to have. And some components in the heat shielding mark one. Okay, that's also good to have. Let's activate the shield. Let's 
let's open the door. I'm gonna go down to the fuel depot. Kill these droids. All right, let's go. There will be two droids up here too, you know, since... I don't know. Seems logical. Alright, two grenades. It's handy to have. Let's open this door, shall we? Oh, hell yes. So that's the even hawk. That's a reskin, by the way. Looks pretty nice. Replace the missing parts. Yeet. Cool. Hangar bay layout. Unsuspicious spark. Okay. Let's log out then. And let's open this. Repair kit. Not something I can use to be honest. No, another repair kit. Oh yeah, I, I can open this door now. Hey, this is the droid from uh, back on the ship. Uh, droid flamethrower. Okay, that's nice. Oh yes, computer spike. That's handy. Oh, and a fiber sword. Sword. That's nice. Alright. Let's exit the hang hang hangar bay layout. Turn to main functions. Uh, emergency control command. Check status of emergency subsystems. Open glass door to hangar. Open glass door to fuel depot. Run diagnostic and limit systems. Wait, I think emergency subsystems. That's a failure. So, run and diagnostic and di diagnostic running. All emergency subsystems rerouted fuel depot terminal. Okay. Let's go through that door over here. And there's some droids over there. Yep. Oh. There you go. One hit, one kill. Eat it. There you go. Mm. 
Let's go down in the lift. Or the elevator. To progress fuel depot. Okay, that's interesting. Wait, so can I... Can I exit this? There's a droid over there, by the way. There's a welcome door there. And I see some droids over there, I think. Fuel control station. Remote camera, fuel line sensors, okay. Maintain maintenance level. Okay. Uh, entrance to droid maintenance area. Area. Okay. Co-op system lock. Someone has sliced into the fuel depot computer and created a phantom fuel leak, seen enough the area with four shields to contain the blast. Looks like it looks as if someone has been using their lockdown to systematically isolate sections of the facility. Access remote cameras. Oh no, I already did that. Within the past day, a series of explosions. Okay, that's all I wanted to read. Open emergency hatch on Paragas administration level. So now that is done. Let's log out. What the fuck is this? That sounded like RG. Oh, oof. That seems like it was painful. So is that stupid droid of yours gonna come through or not? Who knows? It's not my droid, I don't know who he belongs to. Well, I'm beginning to think I was a little better off in my s- <laughs> Yeet. Hey, what do you know? A little cargo cylinder came through. It looks like it, but it's strange he didn't contact us on the comm. Let me see. I don't believe we're out of this yet. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Turbo lifts are locked down manually, so I had, had him open the emergency hatch. Wait, wait, Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot. Be an idiot to go down there. Maybe, but it's the only way out, and it's better if I risk my life than yours. You're either really brave or really crazy, or both. I'm both. Right, I'll try to monitor things from up here. And be careful. The only thing moving down there is likely to be mining droids, so don't be playing hero too hard. Uh, not that I care what happens to you or anything. I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. Yeah, sure, man. Got it. See you soon. I'll keep the comm link open. I may be able to guide you through the tunnels from up here. Don't know if the signal will hold if you get too deep, though. You have received a comm link. Party members of or others may use it to contact you to help you or provide information. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Interesting. So let's go. Alright, let's go to the turbo lift. Okay, we're here. Can you read me? Uh, there's one. Yes, for a minute I thought you and Grey were telepathic. What did you say? Your signal's crammed with static. There's a lot of interference down there, probably caused by that explosion. Still, it looks like there's a route down to the Paragas fuel depot. If the passages haven't collapsed, that explosion knocked out most of the sensors. There should be an emergency crate in the next room. Watch yourself. There's a lot of droid broadcasts in that area, but I can't pin them down. I'll be careful then if you de detect anything single me. Will do. And be careful down there. Of course I will. You know me. Oh wait, he doesn't. Shit. 
Oh yes, find me some clothes. Not that survey gear. Tino's mining shield and safety harness. Um, alright, sorry guys, got a little distracted. Um, yes, and it looks like there's some ghosts in here. About time. The whole half-naked Jedi thing was wearing a little thin. <laughs> there may be some survey gear and a safety harness inside the crate, too. The miners wear them when staking claims on the asteroids. The survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines. And the safety harness can be helpful if you try to disarm them. Ah, that's good to know. There's some kind of mining energy shield in this crate, too. Yeah, it's like a military-issue energy shield, except it's designed to protect the miners against lasers and heat. It should work against the droid mining lasers. It won't last forever, and certainly not against multiple laser hits. But it may buy you some time if you get ambushed by a battalion of droids. Sounds useful. How do I use it? How comforting. I got it. Let's uh, go. Just one more thing. I've narrowed down some of the ID signals, and if the numbers are right, you're sharing those tunnels with a battalion of mining droids. Can I sneak by them? You could, if you have the skill in a stealth field generator. These droids rely on thermal sensors, primarily to detect fuel deposits. The good thing is, that explosion down there kicked up so much heat and steam it may blind them. A bit, but not much. I'll do that. Anything There's else? There's gotta be some central controller down there. See if you can find a terminal by the main access shaft. That'd be governing intelligence. Alright, so... Let's put the clothes on. And I already got the... Stealth sh uh, field generator. Seems like it's not that busy here. Oh, I see some. Watch where you step. I'm picking up a lot of sonic mines down there. Don't run unless you have to. It makes them harder to spot. If you have any skill with demolitions, you might be able to recover them and use them against the droids. That is, if the mines don't get you first. If you have survey gear or a safety harness, put them on. They'll make spotting and disarming the sonic charges a little easier. Nice. I'll do it. Well, I already got it equipped, so. Well, I don't have the skill, which is a bit sad, so... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Like, if this would be a stealth game, then, you know... How would we officially fuck? Prepare the droid. How many parts do I have? Okay. Disable droid to allow you to move by it. Very nice now, is it? Okay. Who cares? Hmm. There's another broken droid. Okay. Shit. Well, <laughs> I guess that's a waste of parts. Oof. Let's um, do the stealth generator. Oh. I guess I fucked it up. So right now they can't see me, which is pretty handy to have, but it kind of scares me. I'm not scared, but kind of worried about them moving this fast. Sure, go ahead. 
look the way. This really kind of scares me. Hey, watch out. That explosion has superheated the tunnels ahead. That steam will cook the skin off your bones. If you can find a mining energy shield, switch it on. It should protect you against the heat if you move quickly enough. Alright, on the suit. Give him the dragon up. Sneaky, sneaky mission. Well, sorry if I'm doing this a bit too slow, but I really don't want to die immediately. Oof. Like, these droids move so fast. Sometimes I think, you know, they spot me. But look at the droids though, that's a really good texture model. That's, that's pretty cool. That's why I like this close game. To something big. I think it's the main ventilation shaft. If so, the central droid controller should be somewhere nearby. Keep an eye out for it. I'm picking I'm up a lot of droids. If you still have a mining energy shield, I'd equip it and switch it on. Already got it on me. Oh, um, got a sneak by? Sure. If you have a stealth field generator, it'd make it an easy walk to the central droid controller. I'll do that. Let's see. What letter is this? G. Okay. So, I think when you use a console, the shield gets deactivated. And I rather have not let that happen. So. Another energy, energy shield. Okay, that's nice. this? Ah, grenades. And the map bag. Yep. The stealth generator got fucked. Oh wait. Cancel all droids main functions and organics. Hell yes. This will override all current commands on the droids. Do you wish to continue? Mining droid protocols. Okay. Main functions. Alright. So wait. I don't know what exactly happened now, so. Um, experience points. Okay, received. Ah, oh, nice. Can level up. Level 100 Mafia boss. Am I right? Yeah, I want some demolition points. And repair, it's also pretty handy to have. Okay, treat injury. Mm, let's see what can I get. Weapon focus lights. Powers? Mm, I don't know, let's, let's do the stun droid now, because that's pretty handy to have. So. Just to make sure I'm uh, disable or enable the shield. Just because I don't want them running at my ass. Okay. Alright, so now, now I can move freely. What kind of readings? 
You need to get out of there before they vent fuel to the surface of the asteroid through the tunnels. Great, how much further is that? I may be able to keep it contained until you get the turbo lift to the fuel depot, but not for much longer. I'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading. If you've got anything left to do down there, make it quick, because where you are is going to get real hot real soon. Alright, so let's move. Turbo lift. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Oh, oof. Huh? Wait. No, oh, that's a dead body. In the same uniform. Seems like a scientist. Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you alive, Master. Provided oh, that's a HK unit. How may I be of assistance? How do you know me? I'm not your master. And so, I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were master. With the unexpected termination of my previous master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. That seems pleasant. And so, the captain of the Harbinger, master. I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. Indeed. Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story, and not terribly relevant to our current situation. It is. Are we going now? HK protocol droid. I don't trust this droid. It's kind of random. Sonic imprint center. Sonic imprint center. With this protocol droid's help, I finished work on the Sonic imprint center. Sensors. I've installed them in the mining droids when I'm locking up the original gear to prevent the other miners from using its ability to record and playback voices to override the droids voice print protocols. Okay. I guess not then. So let's turn on the stealth generator. Because, you know, there's some dudes out there. But, uh, I don't think it's hot up here, so they might see me. Oof. You know, that really irritates me that because of this cutscene, <laughs> the stealth cut. Uh, wait, can I still? Well. Let me quick save for a minute. And let's throw a nade at them. That was really effective. That really made me jump. Of, of, of course, of course. Yeah, because it seems legit. He is a Jedi though. Wonderful. My character seems to be stuck. Okay, so let's... Why was there a telephone going on? Ok, 
okay. The hatch to the airlock is now open. That's good to know. Um, okay. So, I might just be able to pass through this without dying. So this is an airlock. I might need a spacesuit for this, I think. It should equip automatically. Okay, good to know. This section of the game looks really beautiful. Like, look at that shit over there. I, and I think Ethan should be up there. Like, yeah, there he is. That's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid surface. That can't be right. <laughs> Your readings are correct. Have anything to report? Huh? What are you doing out there? <laughs> I need to reach the miners in the dormitory sector section now. This is the only way to get there. You're crazy, even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there quick. Something wrong? What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragus fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Looks like a left The arena. vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... Uh-oh. Now what now? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this. Same, mate. Welcome back guys, so this is the cutscene, so this looks, it's a shame that the cutscenes are bad quality, but yeah, this is a Sith Lord, so okay, so let's continue where we were. The guy kinda sounds like Darth Vader now, with uh, the space suit on. Wow, this scene really takes its time. That's weird, so let's see what it, Although the HK protocol droid told you to see if you can find the administration officer in the, in the dormitory to see if he has access code, a Republic ship has docked with the mining facility. It's possible that you could use the fuel connection to bypass the force field in the fuel depot and enter the hangar from another direction, bypassing the force field entirely. Good to know. So there's a Sith Lord update in that ship. 
the thing. That's interesting. Progress Dormo Mitri level, or however you say it. What's that sound? That's it. Well, guess we'll blow it up with her mind. Skill to low, then we'll open it. But let me guess. I can only use that. That's a rip. So let's open these hatches. Or lockers. Okay. Cool. Nice. Oh, a, a brief mask. That's handy to have. So let's put this shit. That looks cool. So, okay, corpse, a disruptor pistol, let's equip that, so, H, that looks, that looks dope. I think skill is too low. Yep. Disable it. Yep. Okay. So let's enter this section. It really sucks at shooting. I better get back to my sword now. Yeah, he's a Jedi, so it seems legit to me. He's better at uh, fighting with the sword. if you're gonna miss the hits like that. Hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? The comm system crackles to life. All you can hear is a slow hissing. Otherwise, the dormitories appear to be deathly silent. Alright, let's go. Load out. See, this is why it's handy. 
This holo looks like it needs to be plugged into a holo reader in order to play back the contents. That's good to know. Energy shield. Oh. I guess we'll end it here guys. To the next time.